Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Yahweh Dash, the bondage to the apostles and others of great millstone, and salutations to the whole full that scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth. So just to give y'all some context, I put up a video a few weeks ago, and the title of that video is, The Law Is Not Done Away With. And so I got a comment by this individual who appears to be an Israelite, and his name is Yahuwah, Yahuwasha. And you got the names wrong. Just wanted to correct you on that. The name, the name of the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh, and the Son's name in the Hebrew tongue is Yahweh Shai. So just gotta correct you on that. And um, his comment reads, "The hundred forty-four thousand is not that many people. It's only the virgin men." Which he's correct. The hundred forty-four thousand is a, indeed a small number however i mentioned in the video that the lord's only coming to deliver the elect and when i say the elect i do mean the hundred and forty four thousand and the one third the one third is also a part of the elect and the one third is going to be comprised of men women and children now whether that number is going to be anywhere from hundreds of thousands to the millions you know, only time will tell. But the one third is a part of the elect. But the hundred and forty four thousand, which is which yeah, he's correct, which is just men, they're gonna be the governing body of the kingdom. Alright. So let me read it again from the top. Hundred and forty four thousand is not that many people. It's only the virgin men. And I'm not sure when he what he means when he says virgin, but when the scripture speaks ab about being a virgin, it means not being touched by other philosophies. I'm not sure if he knows that, but let's, let me go to the scriptures. This is John 3 and 3. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. So born again, meaning that you put off that old person and you become that new person. You're a new creature. Your your mind is renewed through this truth. So that's what it means is to be born again. So that's going to lead me to this scripture, 2 Corinthians 11 and 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. Right, because the Most High God of Israel, the one true God, he's a jealous God. Therefore, he gets mad when the nation of Israel goes whoring after other gods. You're committing adultery in a sense, spiritual adultery. And that's the reason why the Most High punished us, punished the nation of Israel. Because we went off and sinned and worshipped other gods. So it reads, For I, I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chastity virgin to Mashiach Yahweh So we're born again through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh you know, this faith and this knowledge that we got. And then we're joined unto the Son. Mashiach Yahweh Shai. We're married. It's like we're married unto them in a sense. Remember how I said the most like is man when you whore after other gods? It's like you're, you're cheating on the most high. Just so you can get an understanding. So that's what it means to be a virgin. You're not dealing with any other philosophies. You have a sound mind in this truth. And you're worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, right? So, back to the comment. It's only the virgin men, the rest of the people that make it to the kingdom are a mixed multitude. Hold up, hold up. 
Let's deal with the mixed multitude now. The mixed multitude was done away with in the wilderness. Because when you read Exodus 12, it does say that the Israelites were delivered out of Egypt. Um, and you had the mixed multitude that were with them, which are the heathen nations, you know. You had heathens mingled amongst the Israelites that, that, that walked out of Egypt with them. That's true. But the Most High, he, he made that separation between the other nations and the nation of Israel. So the mixed multitude was done away with in the, in the wilderness. There ain't going to be no mixed multitude that's going to receive salvation once the destruction comes. When the, when the sun comes, Yahweh Shai, the world inherently called Jesus Christ. The Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. Salvation is only for the nation of Israel, all right? And as for the other nations, they're going to be subservient and they're going to be under slavery in the kingdom of heaven under the Israelites, all right? The Israelites are going to be in power. So, Christians, they try to you know, they, they slip that mixed multitude in there. They try to say that salvation is for everybody. That couldn't be any more further from the truth. So, it, it's obvious that this individual, he doesn't have the correct understanding of the scriptures. You know, it seems like he's coming, he's coming from a Christian ideology standpoint. So let me read that again. The rest of the people that make it to the kingdom are a mixed multitude, numerous to count, of every nation and language. All right, so let's deal with that. I'm going to start off with the book of Numbers, chapter 11, because the Most High, he was killing the mixed multitude in the wilderness. The mixed multitude was murmuring and it was in, and it was influencing the Israelites to complain unto Moses and like and say that they wanted to go back to Egypt. Because the mixed multitude, they didn't want to be in the wilderness. They actually really did want to go back to Egypt. Because you know, they were slaves in Egypt as well. So the most high Man, he started killing the mixed multitude, as I'm about to read. So this is Numbers 11. And notice how it says the people complain. So this is Numbers 11 and 1. And when the people complained, it displeased the Lord. And the Lord heard it, and his anger was kindled. And the fire of the Lord burnt among them and consumed them that were and the uttermost parts of the camp. So, how did the Lord burn them up? Well, when you read Exodus 13 and 22, I'm going to roughly paraphrase it. It says, the Israelites had a pillow of fire by night and a cloud by day. Meaning, there was a UFO that was over them when he was in the wilderness, you know, for 40 years. It just stayed over them, all right? So the Lord just shot down. He commanded whoever was operating that that UFO, which was the angels, um, to shoot down laser beams unto the people and the mixed multitude because they were murmuring and complaining. And like I said, you had the the mixed multitude, which is, which is, which is the heathens, they was complaining and influencing the Israelites to complain and want to go back to Egypt. So the Lord, he had to cut that off, man. So this is verse 2. And the people cried unto Moses. And when Moses prayed unto the Lord, the fire was quenched and he called the name of the place to Bora because the fire of the Lord burnt among them and the mixed multitude that was among them fell a lusting 
meaning they desired to go back to Egypt. And the children of Israel also wept again and said, Who shall give us flesh to eat? So if that wasn't enough, they still complained, you know. They were still complaining and saying oh, they, they want meat to eat because the food was good in Egypt. You know, it, it nourished them when they was in Egypt. And so you better believe that you had the heathens that wanted to go back to Egypt. You know, they didn't want to be in the wilderness with the Israelites. Verse 5, we remember the fish which we did eat in Egypt freely, the cucumbers, the melons, and the leeks, and the onions, and the garlic. So, the Most High was killing. He was killing them off in the wilderness, man. The Most High is not coming back to deliver no mixed multitude. When the destruction comes, when the Lord sends His Son, Yahweh Shai. It's not happening. So, let me get this. Matthew 25 and 31. And the title of it is Judgment. The Judgment. When the Son of Man, who was the Awashai, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. So there you go. There's, there's no way around that. The Lord's coming back to bring the vision. We're not going to be joined unto the heathens. The kingdom of heaven is going to be for the Israelites. It's going to be ruled by the Israelites. And as for the other nations, they're going to be slaves under the Israelites. They're going to be subservient to the Israelites. You can read Isaiah chapter 14. So, this is Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Right, meaning the most I can really care less about the other nations. They're not peculiar to him. When you read De Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6, it says that the Israelites are a holy people. They're separate from all the other people, all the other nations. So the Most High is only dealing with the nation of Israel. So it goes on to read, Behold, he takes up the Isles as a very little thing. All right? So... As a matter of fact, it's going to lead me to Romans 9. And this is the Apostle Paul speaking. Romans 9 and 1. I say the truth in the Mashiach Yahweh I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I wish... For I could wish that myself were accursed from Mashiach Yahushua, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to who pertain as the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. So everything was given to the nation of Israel. The Most High is not dealing with, with the other nations. It's clear. It's, it says it clearly. So, you know, you got these Christians and, you know, the Catholic churches. And they try to mix in and say that, oh, the Lord's dealing with the body of believers. So, you know, the other nations can make it. Man, the body of believers is the Israelites. According to the flesh. All right? The Most High is not coming to deliver the other nations I mean 
I can't accentuate that enough. So there's no way around Romans chapter 9. I mean, you can't show me anywhere in the Bible that salvation is for everybody. You know, it's just simply not in there. And yes, you know, there were the mixed multitude that got delivered out of Egypt with, with the Israelites. But the most I, he, he made that separation. The mixed multitude was done away with in the wilderness. All right. So this 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 individual, you know, he has the wrong understanding. So I believe I'm gonna end off on that. I hope y'all found this video edifying. Shalom.